What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about a woke US comedian who starts crying, starts whining, starts bitching because they got sniffed at the airport by a dog. Yep, that's right. We're going to be checking out their video and reacting to it. But as I always say, first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications because I'm struggling here. But we're talking about hypocrisy and this victim narrative. It's very, it's very prevalent these days among a certain demographic out there in the United States in particular. I can't mention what that group is, but I think you know who I'm talking about. So this is the comedian, Eric Andre, and he plays victim over dog sniffer test at Melbourne Airport. So I've been on planes for over 25 hours. I flew from New York City to LA, then to LA to Melbourne, then Melbourne to Brisbane to shoot something. Uh, I got detained and I had to go, I got pulled out of a lineup and put in a special line in Melbourne where I was sniffed thoroughly by a dog. Those dogs are uh, pretty much ineffective. I've, I've heard statistics like they're uh, 80 to 90 percent ineffective at sniffing out whatever they're trying to sniff out it's like and i did want to check that out to just make sure that was correct he's close so apparently sniffer dogs do get it wrong about 75 percent of the time okay sniffing out whatever they're trying to sniff out it's like one of the many times i've been racially profiled at the airport so this is a message for all black, brown, and indigenous people traveling through Melbourne today, especially if you're traveling Qantas International by Terminal 2, please be careful. They are searching black, brown, and indigenous people. Please let me know if anybody knows the names of those officers with the dogs or what that program is. If okay, so this guy is expecting special treatment when he enters Australia. So this guy, because of his uh, particular ethnic background i mean should we roll out the red carpet for this individual caviar maybe a bit of champagne as well is that what he wants get the fuck out of here you get treated just like everyone else how do we know that this guy wasn't just randomly picked out of the line this guy is making an assumption that the security at the airport picked him out because of his racial background but as this person says down here what race is he supposed to be melbourne is so multicultural that no one would look at him twice and Australia generally overall is very multicultural you would not think twice seeing a guy of this complexion walking down the street so I'm not sure what this guy thinks he looks like but based on what I'm seeing there no one would give two shits about the way this guy looks if anybody has um, information on a discrimination Australian lawyer I'm all ears please send me that info and if anybody has information on statistically how many people of color they put into this dog sniffing line versus white passengers, I'm assuming it doesn't reflect the percentage of white passengers versus POC passengers at any given time at that airport. Maybe, maybe they picked this guy out because in their experience, people of his complexion are more likely to be committing these types of crimes. Is that possible? And is that wrong? I don't think that's wrong. People have an issue with racial profiling. I don't. I think it's common sense. If you have statistics and history showing that a particular group is vastly overrepresented in crimes, then why would you not use that information? So if they were using racial profiling here, do I care? No. Do I think they were? I don't know. We got no idea. This guy's just making assumptions here, trying to be a victim. He wants to be a victim. And he wants special treatment. So fuck off. You're not getting it. And anybody hiring me to work in Australia going forward, whether it's a production or a tour, please don't make me go through the Melbourne airport alone. Please provide a police escort or some type of security escort for me or have me fly in too. Brisbane or Sydney directly. I do not feel safe in the Melbourne airport. I do not want to be humiliated or racially discriminated against um, anymore at these airports. I don't want to cut my hair and wear a three-piece suit so that I'm treated like a first-class citizen. Um, I shouldn't be made to feel that I am 
unaccepted by entering a country. No, no. This guy's playing the race card here so hard, it is unbelievable. What the hell is he doing? Like, how pathetic is this? How soft, how fucking soy infested is this? Shame on the people at the Melbourne airport that have this uh, cockamamie procedure. I doubt it yields any safer world for anybody in Melbourne or Australia. I'd love to dig up the statistics on um, what is coming out of that program. So again, if there's a discrimination lawyer that anybody knows in Australia or anything like that, please send me that information. And if anybody knows any information about God, what a bitch this guy is. His victim complex is so strong that getting sniffed at the airport as a security measure by a sniffer dog is enough to set him into a complete meltdown. But let's move on to this one here. So this guy here is also talking about supposed racial profiling. Let's check this one out. My 11-year-old son asked me, Dad, what is white privilege? I said, well, you know how sometimes when we go to a store, we get followed around by security for no real reason? He said, no, that doesn't happen to us. And I said, well, that's white privilege. No, it isn't. It all depends on what you define as racial profiling. If it's about using common sense, that based on their previous experience, they know that these groups have a high chance of committing a crime, then is that racial profiling or is that just using your brain? Okay, just imagine you run a store and people with green hats steal 50% of the time. And you have people with purple hats that steal 5% of the time. Who would you be more wary about? Which one? The common sense answer is the green hats. But people like this are saying it's wrong to do that. It's wrong to be more suspicious of someone with a green hat. It, it doesn't make any sense. You have to literally get rid of your brain to think that's the appropriate way to deal with that. Right? No, we're not doing that. If the facts show, the stats show that this group commits more crimes, then why wouldn't you police them harder than other groups? Why wouldn't you? And if, look at, and if you look at the crime stats in the United States, what do they show? Which groups are overrepresented in crimes? I mean, homicide's the big one that always gets talked about because there's such a dramatic, there's such a dramatic overrepresentation from one particular group. What could that group be? If you know me, you know I don't move out of white people way on the street. I will dead ass. Fuck a shoulder check, bitch. I'm taking your shoulder with me, actually. Yeah, I'm walking down the street with that. I will knock a bitch flat and walk over her. I don't care. I'm not moving. When it comes to the white people, I'm not moving. Y'all so rude. Yes, I'm guessing they're the ones that are rude. That person is about as dumb as their white counterpart right here. Oh, you got <laughs> I think at its core it's about IQ. You just have a lot of stupid people out there. But that's what's going on. Hope you're having a good day as always. And as always, they get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.